Hey guys, this is Production Music Live. My name is Francois. Today we are going to have a little sound design session here with Silent One. We are going to make this Moog lead or bass sound with our Silent One synth and a couple of Ableton effects in the chain behind. And I'm starting from scratch now, so I'm duplicating this track here and I'm going to solo it. So this is what we are working with. And actually we are going to start from the beginning. So I'm turning off this automation here and I'm turning off all the effects in the chain for now. Just putting the gain up a little so we can hear much better what we're doing. And now I'm opening up Silent One and I'm going into the menu and I'm starting preset um, clear with the init patch. This is the init patch. Bring it down one octave here in oscillator A1 and also in oscillator A2. And um, select four voices here and make sure you're playing a saw wave. We trigger off and detuning up a little. Okay, detuning up to 10 o'clock maybe and stereo down so we are a bit more in the middle of things go to nine o'clock okay and this is our envelope of the amplifier and bring up the attack a little bit so it starts a bit smoother you can see the actual values showing here whenever i'm hovering over uh, the knob with the mouse. Also, release time up a little bit. Three point four and two point eight here, and let's select oscillator A two. Select a saw waveform here as well, and put in two voices. Stereo down to around one and a half o'clock and volume down as well around 11 o'clock here. Retrigger off. Okay, and now we want to work with our filter section here. Input is going to be oscillators part A and B because we're also going to use part B in a second and we are going to run everything, all these oscillators here, these two as well, all of them through filter A. And um, filter type, we are going to use a low pass filter and bring the drive up. Eleven o'clock, resonance up. Okay, and cut off slightly up as well. Okay, moving over to part but this is actually a nice feature. I want to use the same envelope in the output of part B as well. It took me a while to realize that you can actually click this little arrow here, copy these settings, move over to part B and paste them. So you have the same settings right here. I actually found out about this function when I was reading the manual. And actually, if you want to learn more about Silent One, how to use it and how to use it for sound design, I made a complete online course for this plugin. So feel free to check out the link in the description if you want to learn how to expertly use this plugin. And we're going to go to oscillator B1 here and bring it down an octave as well. Select waveform sine wave and one voice. <laughs> Bring the volume down a bit. Also, make sure in this filter B, we are not selecting any inputs. So we are not running anything through this filter. You can 
keep the stereo here and we are moving over to oscillator B2 and this one is going to work as our sub. So we are bringing this down two octaves here and selecting a saw wave in this case as well, not the typical sine wave sub bass and select two voices. One, two. Bring the phase up a little. Detuning as well. And volume down a little, it's a bit loud now in this sub frequency here. So this is all rough sound and now we're just going to mix part A and part B in a slightly different ratio. I'm going to put the main output a little bit down here. So this filter cutoff would be what we are automating here. Now we could also try out this distortion in here, but I kind of like the Ableton distortion in this case a bit better. So what we're doing is we are taking a saturator right here and um, set this one to hard curve. And now I actually have to take this utility off here in the back because this one is adding so much power. Put this one drive to 7.4 decibels, soft clipping on, and DC on as well. And now you can also add in a little bit of an overdrive effect here. You know, you can see the settings here. So this is what I was working with. Definitely bring down a dry wet here because we don't need it that much. Tone up a little and drive down. And move the band pass filter around here. Something like this. I think it sounds nice in this setting. And we can play around with the filter cutoff right now. And I think it sounds especially nice if you put in a little bit of a ping pong delay here and maybe also a little bit of reverb. So decay time of 3 seconds and dry wet smooth. But if you play too much in the bass maybe it's not a good idea. If you play it higher it could sound very nice. course this sound gets a lot more interesting if you're playing different voices on top of each other. For example if I'm just copying the entire thing here and move it on the fifth or something. Actually an octave up.
nice sound. Also, you could think of throwing in one of those erosions here. Snores or white and dirty. Let's see what this sounds like. I don't know, it depends a little bit on what you want to do. Just an idea. Let's put in the low cut again because we have a lot of bass playing and play together with the track. Let me actually switch off these upper notes here to compare to the other one. one here. I think we are very close to the original sound. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this little sound design session here with Silent One. Check out the link in the description if you're interested in a full sound design course on Silent One. Visit us on productionmusiclive.com, our website supporting this channel, subscribe to our channel, and I hope to see you next time.